Many people want to have better conversations. They want to have conversations that never end and just go on forever and ever. While that is fine, it's unrealistic. You will realize when you get better at conversations that conversations are meant to end. There's a starting point and there's an ending point, but you can stretch those things. But the number one thing you must learn is listening is more important than talking. So that should take the stress off you. Go ahead and release the stress, the stress you have of being interesting and having great conversations that last forever. Go ahead and throw that out the window because they're supposed to end and it's simply just for you to communicate. OK, but while we're communicating, while we're conversating, we should always remember that there is a goal in mind. You're getting to know someone, you're communicating a certain goal, you know, you want something. It's simple communication. OK. But it's different ways to communicate. The best way you can communicate or the best way you can have better conversations is to listen. You have two ears, one mouth. Use them in that proportion. Don't we always feel good when we talk about ourselves and we get to talk about the things that we love? And it always feels good for people to be interested in the things we like. You remember the time when you showed your friend that funny video and they, were, they weren't looking at it? They're looking at their phone or Vice versa, remember the time when you showed somebody a funny video and they laughed hysterically and you're like, yeah, I showed you that. I'm important, right? It feels good, doesn't it? You remember when you had that real big important thing you wanted to talk about when you talked to somebody that weren't paying attention? It's like, yep, I'm just go back to my room, right? We've all had those moments. So you should know listening is key. Engaging is key. What I like to do. You go through the little interview process, but you don't want to go too heavy on the questions. When you first get to know someone, don't just spam them with questions, right? Don't hit them with the, yo, where you're from, how tall are you, who's your mom, who's your dad, do you have a giraffe? Don't go all the way into the interview process because it becomes boring, it becomes robotic. You want to ask questions and then lay down statements. So where are you from? Oh, I'm from Ohio. Sheesh, I heard Ohio is blah, 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 blah. And then you go into this little segment. So how many siblings you have? Oh, I'm the middle child. Oof. You know what I'm saying? How was that growing up? Was the baby spoiled? Was the older sibling mean to you? You know what I'm saying? Question, statement, conversation. Question, statement, conversation, right? And little by little, what you're doing is getting to know this person. You're getting to know their dynamic, right? You might even hit them with, you know, How, how's your relationship with your parents? She's like, oh, yeah, well, I hate my mom. Mommy issues, right? I love my dad. I was going, okay, you know, and maybe, maybe, maybe you know, he's spinning around. She hates her dad. And it's like, yeah, okay. Been there before. Anyways, um, yeah, sorry. But yeah, you, you get to, you ask these questions, you know, you lay down these statements and you get to know a person. But really what you're doing is you, you're waiting for their ears. You know how the dog's ears just be chilling and then they hear noise and it's like, that's what you're doing. You're waiting for the treasure. You're waiting for the blink. You're waiting for the bee dee 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 dee. Because what you're doing is treasure hunting. You're going to find something in there that this person is enthusiastic about. They're going to show enthusiasm. They're going to show charisma. Their eyes are going to light up. They're going to get excited. They might stutter, right? You can feel the energy coming off of them because they are talking about something they are interested in. That's where your ears come up. And for example, you're like, yeah, so um, what's one of your favorite activities? And this girl's like, I've only done it like twice, but I love to go hiking. Boom. Already in my head, I'm like, yep, that's like um, our third date. We're going hiking. I'm going to take you hiking, right? While I'm still listening, she's like, yeah, I went hiking with, you know, my grandparents. And one of my favorite things we did was pick up flowers and time to get, boom, sentimental moment, right? You're doing all these things. You're finding this goal. And now after she gets done talking, don't cut her off. Don't cut anyone off. Let them finish, right? And then that's when you follow up with, yeah, man, I love hiking. Um, you know, what What was the first place you went hiking? How was it with the, you know, like your feet get rubbed by the shoes? Just actively engage. You understand what I'm saying? Don't just be like, oh, yeah, cool, hiking. Ask them about it. How's the bugs? Do you rather hike when it's colder or hotter? You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's good for you. One of the best things you can do, and let, let me interject this, one of the best things you can do in a conversation is have some relation. So what you can do in your own daily life is go get more experiences because the more experiences you have, the more relatable you become because you have so many things to talk about, right? Instead of thinking about being interesting, go out in the world and get interesting experiences. 
Am I telling you to dive off an airplane with no parachute just so you can say, yeah, <laughs> like cheated death? No. Would that be cool? Maybe. But will I live to see it? No. But that's beside the point. But you're listening. You're listening for these golden nuggets, right? Her eyes light up when she talks about hiking. You're automatically thinking, yep, well, that's a date idea. She may, um, you know, show her interest in cars and things like that. You might love cars. Y'all might form this bond of possibly buying a car one day and building it together as y'all grow older. You understand what I'm saying? You're just treasure hunting. You're just listening, listening and listening. When you listen to instruction, because a conversation is really just instruction, right? But it's up to you to find the manual, right? Because people talk about things, you know, they talk more about the things that they like. They talk more about the things that they want to do. And, you know, they show more energy towards the things that they have interest in. So a conversation is basically like a how to love me, how to agree with me, what I don't like manual. And you have to be able to pick up on those things. What do I like? So listening is key. Stop worrying about the pickup line. Stop worrying about the right thing to say. When you t when you hear a person or when you listen to a person enough, they literally tell you what to say. It's really as simple as that. They literally tell you what to say. You just have to build the ear for it. And it is a skill. Like I said, I, I learned I learned most of my conversation skills by working in a grocery store. Go outside and talk to more people. Start off with a, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Eventually, one of those old people are going to come up to you and talk to you for 30 minutes. And you're going to sit there and listen. And, you know, when they pause a little bit or whatever, whatever, you can jump in and, you know, talk about things. But really just listen. It's really that simple. And when it gets to the point where you're talking to somebody and you're talking too much for the both of y'all and it's to the point like where it's just not going nowhere. Just stop talking. It's like, man, I don't have anything to say anymore because there's nothing to say. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And the more you talk to somebody, the more you'll learn how to talk to them or the more you will learn how easy they are to talk to. Right. It's all about practice. But listening is key. Listening or you at you ask your questions. Right. That's that's you shooting out there to find your targets. Right. So imagine you were shooting in the dark. Tink, 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 ding. Hold the gun there. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Ran out of bullets. What? I thought it was just over. Ding! There it goes again. You understand what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's just target practice. You're just listening for that ding. When you have that, take it and run with it, my friend. Essentially, all you're doing is making a person feel loved, feel welcome. You're making them feel like they are interesting. And be genuine with it. Don't sit there and be like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> you like cars. So you want to be my girlfriend? Don't do that. Don't do that. Because for one, you're going to attract that energy into your own life, you know, and it's going to happen to you somewhere down the line. But, bro, just be genuine. Because if you're talking to someone, you want something from them and you're not genuine, that's just wrong. You know what I mean? So be genuine with your intentions. Be genuine with your ears. Be genuine with your conversation. Be genuine with your heart. Be relatable. Talk to them. Know when to stop talking. Right. And see, I got another video coming too, because a lot of a lot of people don't know how to text. They want to text all day and wonder why the text goes dry. If you text good morning, what you doing, what you doing, what you what you doing, what you doing, what you doing, what you doing, how's the day, what you doing, what you doing. If you text all this all day, at the end of the day, what are y'all going to have to talk about? Nothing. And then when y'all finally meet up, you have expressed every second of the week to this person. Y'all are not going to have anything to talk about. Because you you spilled the beans. You said too much. You didn't know where to end the conversation. Okay? So if you want to have conversations, 
that never end, it's never going to happen. Unless it does. <laughs> but yeah, man, y'all stay tuned. I got some more content coming for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Work on these conversation skills. I got y'all. Y'all want some conversation starters? I got you. All right? I love you, man. Let's be better.